May the 4th be with you! Hope you've enjoyed our special content this week. We've been getting managerial accounting students prepared for their exam at UIC. Hope you've enjoyed it. We are going to go back to our regular schedule for spring 2024 next week and end with one, maybe two. No, we'll do one more week before we pivot off to summer term. But uh, if you do have questions, please feel free to DM me, uh, put some comments and questions uh, attached to this video or other videos, and I will get to as many questions as I can as you finish out your spring 2024 term. A question that I received in the past week has been about balance sheet and income statements. So I want to do a quick synopsis of how I usually teach it in financial and intermediate accounting. So a balance sheet is the first, usually the first financial statement that we teach or that you learn. It is as of a point in time. So as of December 31st, 2023, as of March 31st, 2024, as of April 30th, 2024, it is going to be as of a particular and specific date. The income statement, on the other hand, is over a period of time. And all the other statements, as well as the footnotes to the financials, are over a period of time. So for the quarter ended March 31st, 2024, for the year ended December 31st, 2023, those are examples of periods by which the income statement will, will explain what uh, information kind of goes through for uh, for the company. So a balance sheet, we have the classic accounting equation, assets equal liabilities plus owner's equity. Assets are what we own. Liabilities are what we owe. And equity, at least on paper, the, this residual value, this leftover value, if you will, is what we are worth. And the book value of equity, the accounting value, if you will, typically is a lot less than the market value or the fair value of equity. Assets equal liabilities plus owner's equity. That is our balance sheet equation. The income statement, on the other hand, we are tracking over a period of time. Typically, we will track our revenues and our expenses, our gains, and our losses. And so we take our revenues and our gains and we subtract our expenses and losses to get to net income. And so if you are trying to prepare financial statements from a from a trial balance, usually it's in the order of assets, liabilities, equity, revenues, expenses. You will want that top half that's going to be your balance sheet accounts. And then your bottom half is going to be your income statement account. So take a look and review your accounting cycle. And we will go through unadjusted trial balance, adjusted trial balance, closing entries, preparation of the financial statements and whatnot. But remember your chart of accounts, assets, liabilities, equity. Those accounts are on the balance sheet. Revenues, expenses, gains and losses are going to be on the income statement. Again, if you have more questions, please DM me or ask uh, or throw comments into the uh, into this video, and I will try try to get to as many as I can. Happy May Fourth, everyone! Thanks.